Koiki, media aid to Yoruba freedom fighter, Sunday Adeyomo, also known as Sunday Bo, has said agitators for self-determination do not defend anyone from practicing their religions, including Sharia, if they do wish. Speaking in an interview with Shara, Sahara reporters on Friday, Koike said the Yoruba nation would respect the, the rights of advent of the various religions. The Muslim rights concern Murik had earlier asked those agitating for the Duduwa Republic to state what they have in stock for Muslim children and women in the southwest and their plans for hijab. In a statement by the director of the group, Akintola Muruk on, Akintola on Friday, asked if the agitators have any provision for civil sharia, which Yoruba Muslims have been demanding for ages. The Islamic group said it was drawing the attention of the agitators of the Duduwa Republic to the plight of Muslims in the Yoruba land. He stated that leaders of the groups agitating for breakaway must admit that there is a strain in Christian Muslim relationship in the Southwest and must prefer solution to address it. But reacting, Koike said the call for self determination does not stop anyone from practicing their religion. He drew an analogy about United Kingdom where hardened of various religions live in peace without any religious sentiment. I have lived in the United Kingdom for the past 22 years and we have hundreds of Hindus, hundreds of them. We, we have all kinds of religions living in peace, doing similar things, operating in that country with no fight without insulting or disrespecting each other. So our call for self-determination does not affect anyone's religion. Anyone will be allowed to practice their religion. Whether you want to practice Sharia, it is entirely up to you. But look at Nigeria. If I want to live in Kano, I am not allowed to say pork. People are being forced to fast in Kano and we call this country a secular country. This is to show that Sharia law is being forced on people irrespective of their religion. Even Saudi Arabia does not practice their religion the way it is being practiced here in this country, where people are made and killed for the sake of religion. In 2018, Christians were killed in Benue because the people who killed them believe they own the land. If you look at the southern part of the country, even as a Muslim, your religion seems different from that of someone from the north because the northern Muslims believe you must add it to a particular dress code. If I want to believe, live with my wife in Kano and insist she must wear a jeans, that is not tolerated in Kano. Yet, they will accept money occurred from sales of alcohol and use it to develop Kano. These are areas we, we have looked at to say we are much better to split this country. If in the nearest future I decide to live in Kano, I will obey their laws. But at the moment, Kano does not respect me as a Yoruba man to live there and decide what kind of business I want to do. When asked about specific date for the 1 million match the Yoruba group had planned before now, he said, we follow the directions from our leaders. So if our leader decides that we will hold the 1 million match and we will soon, he said. <laughs> I am a good Muslim, but in this decision, we make Muri move to not because Sharia law will never happen in the Yoruba nation. If granting them Sharia will make them happy and ensure peace, ensure peace and harmony, so be it. Sunday Bo's aid is very smart and intelligent. His response was absolutely right. Just 
uh, listen very carefully and I like that. Some of us just jump into conclusion after this post without thinking about what their comments may bring. It's Chief Sunday Igbo policy forming. We haven't got anywhere near where we are going, but you start typing setback for our great quest. Repent before we start cursing, before we start cursing you here. I come in peace. So the only thing I knew is that Yoruba will never forget about because sorry. The only thing I knew here is that Yoruba we never fought because of religion. I am not talking about Ilori people. We all live in peace and so so be it. I just don't want I just don't want to be in the same country with this cow from the north. No Sharia law in Yoruba land and there will be never. We are okay with the religious uh, peace we currently enjoy in Yoruba land. Don't bring in trouble with a useless Sharia law. Igbo's aid will not be the one deciding what will happen in Oduduwa nation. There are intellectual professors and well-educated ones that will draft the Oduduwa's constitution to favor all. All religious groups, whether Christianity or Islam, will be treated alike. So, there will be sen there will there won't be sentiment towards any religion, but our economy, education, ed, technology, etc. will be main target. Murik should go and sit down and stop becoming agent of distraction to this agitation. Don't worry, when we reach that bridge, we will cross it. I love the Bogus aid. He is a true politician. It's going to be a secular state, no state religion. Practice your religion without any wahala. Nobody tell you anything. These are Nigerians' reaction. Okay, most Nigerians' reactions. So, hi, guys. I'm going to drop it here. Let's hear from you. Kindly hit the comment section and don't forget to give us thumbs up. Thank you very much for stopping by. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.